Is it on now? Yeah, it's on. Just recording. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Adam Driver. Today, I'll be reading The Selfish Crocodile by Frost and Charles. Deep in the forest, in the river, lived the large crocodile. This crocodile didn't put up with no shit from no one. He didn't want any of the other creatures touching his guns, his drugs, or his biatches. The croc yelled, Hey, this is my block. This has been my mother block for years, now mean. If you don't get to step in, I'll toss all your salads, and I won't stop until I'm all up in them guts. He yelled. So they ran. Ran like little pussies. They didn't get their drink on. Their smoke on. And they didn't even get their dick sucked. The axe screamed. Hey, this! Sucks! This just sucks! The animals, having already come down hard from last night's eye, were starting to turn on each other. The elephant lashed out at the hippo and screamed. Every day I wake up and I hope you're dead! The hippo clapped back. I hope you get an illness and they get hit by a car and die! The crocodile sat back, ready to knock boots with the prostitute that just rolled up. The animals could hear the crocodile and his hooker from across the swamp. I love you so much, I want to grind up your muscles and organs and bones and spread you on toast. The animals kept listening. When it was over, they could hear the crocodile made some nachos. I just had sex, I'm about to eat nachos! But then, animals heard a smash, followed by yelling, And there's a bitch and a cunt! And there's a fucking bitch and a cunt! Apparently his prostitute Heather smashed the plate of nachos across his face. She robbed him and split. But the crocodile was in so much pain he cried like a little bitch. <laughs> Maybe he's going to die, chirped a bird. If that happens, it'll be safe to go in the river, grunted a wild pig. Instead of just hoping and waiting to see if the crocodile was going to die, the animals found his stash of drugs. They were all tripping balls on whippets watching someone who they used to fear suffer. Serves that punk bitch right, said a monkey. Suddenly a mouse saw an opportunity. The crocodile was vulnerable. The time to strike was to now. It may have been the cocaine talking, but his plan was to rip out the croc's teeth. One by one to show him they weren't going to put up with his shit anymore. The mouse realized he was in over his head once inside his mouth. For one, he didn't realize the croc had so many teeth. And two, his mouth smelled like that prostitute's ass. Like, it smelled so bad. He needed to get out a sap. So the mouse pulled out a tooth at random, farted in the croc's mouth, and got the hell out. The crocodile was in shock. Not because he thought the mouse was trying to hurt him, but because the tooth the mouse pulled out was cracked when the hooker hit him with the plate. It was the reason he was in so much pain, and he didn't even notice the mouse farted in his mouth. His mouth already reeked of Heather's raunchy ass. When the mass left the croc's mouth with a tooth, everyone was pumped. The mass's adrenaline was jacked. Stab him in the dick with a tooth, a lion screamed at him. Stabbing him in his dick was more of a plan than the mouse had. He acted rashly as he always did while high on drugs, and just figured he'd have to keep winging. But the croc was suddenly in a good mood. Without all that pain, he could now focus on the heaping amount of ecstasy flowing through his system that he took to better enjoy the prostitute. Not knowing this, the mouse started to panic. Why do I always do this, he thought. So he tried to bear the tooth, hoping the croc didn't know who ripped it out. They all called him a p for backing down, but the mouse didn't care at the moment. The crocodile snuck up behind the mouse. He had a little surprise for the little fella. At first, he thought he'd get him a nice nut, but then he thought. Mice don't like nuts. Not as much as they like rocks.
that's why the crocodile decided to give the mouse the largest rock of crack he could find. I've never seen a crack rock this big, said the mouse. And so the crocodile realized it's better to have friends around to share his drugs with than to be alone and be attacked and robbed by hookers. So that night they parted, they drank, they smoked, they had orgies until the water looked like chicken broth. Then later the hippo overdosed and died, just like the elephant wanted, which is fine. They are animals, so they just ate him. This is normal for animals. It's really not a big deal. The end. Hi, I'm Adam Driver. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to Ekkie the Baron, and check out these other videos.